Good morning. It's 9-11, 19. Um, you know, prayers going out to all the loved ones of the victims. and I just wanted to acknowledge that before I get started. I'm not going to hang around on that subject very long. Kicked out a video about every morning right now. I, sometimes I feel like making videos, sometimes I don't. You guys are probably tired of seeing this. I understand it. I, uh, I don't have a mirror in my bathroom. I get tired of seeing it too. The youth of America, and I'm going to condense that down to the youth I know personally and I see on my Facebook quite often. The Facebook media news, you know, we're always reading posts about about the youth and and, it, and we want to get pretty dejected about it you know um, thinking about that's what's going to be running our country look at the youth right around you look at the look at the 20 closest people i'm going to say now you know that are 10 years old to 25. um 25 is getting up there i mean they're adults now but still where I'm going with this video, I got up this morning, there was a post on my memories of uh, little Preston, Lacey, and Levi Kiefer. Um, you know, I took him to the store and he was working me for some sour strings, you know. But he's growing up, becoming a young man. Um, I, I'm thinking about uh, the next, the other video, a video I seen this morning, Carson Sylvester likes to fish. He's out there fishing. There's a homeless man fishing next to him. I'm going to put the link down. You know, I'll call me in a link or put it in the description or whatever to it. Um, you know, and he's just talking about this man and it, and it kind of made him feel good. This guy is fishing he's homeless there's encampments there in california everywhere now um this homeless man's fishing and that's how he eats and he actually gets fish he sells his fish to the other homeless people right so he makes him a little money he's he's got him a job in the homeless encampment so anyway he was a veteran Carson tugs at his heartstrings a little bit, and uh, Carson kind of fixes him up, helps him out with some strings, some tackle, and all that. Very cool. The the kids that are coming up, these kids that I've known since they were young, I'm gonna I'm gonna go. This is gonna be the oldest kid that I talk about probably. Brad Pounds, Tina Pounds. They were. They were really young, you know, when I first started hanging around the race scene. They've got a family of their own. They they got twins. Tina's so hilarious on the things she posts. She's pretty open about the, the adventures of the twins, you know. And, uh, you know, and I watch Brad Pounds. And I, he's him and his family, and he doesn't always race. And, and when they do, it's normally all of them, you know, not all the time, but... Um, they have a good family unit going, and, and that comes from Richie McGowan and Renee and Scott Pounds, and you know, it's it's all that. Jumping back to Carson Sylvester, I remember him being little bitty, sitting in a mini dwarf. Nick told him he needed to do something. Carson had his helmet on. I get pretty good reads off the eyes. I think it's from riding horses so much back in the day or whatever. And I, if looks could have killed, I mean, Nick wouldn't be walking right now. I, I, we'd be, we'd have went to his funeral that, that afternoon. But Carson seems to have made a good person. Race and Vernon. There's so many of these, these young kids. Kevin and Tyler Irwin good guys helpful all all the time i talked about preston austin Kiefer. um there's going to be ones that i don't name 
but I just there is a bunch of good youth out there Brylan Holder has a he's married now got a kid um, these were all kids back in the day and I didn't you know what if they raced against me I was pretty hard on them kids coming up they there's no need for they probably all hate me they're surprised to see me say anything good about them or don't care that I say anything good about them because if we were racing I wasn't gentle on them kids coming up um, they got some tough love from me out there on the track I'd loan them things or whatever and tell them good job when they when they won races, but I didn't cut any of them boys any slack. Um, it just, that's the way it was, you know. But what I'm getting at here, not a big deal, just again, a thought that went through my head this morning. I think our youth is way better off. Look, look around at the closest 20 kids of your friends and see what they look like. It's not so bad. We can't buy into what Facebook tells us, what the media is showing us. They're, they're all trying to get clicks. They're all trying to get ratings. They're not, they're not representing the average youth because the average youth is just average. Um, there's nobody following Carson out there to see whether he does a good deed or not. You know, and he, he reported that. And don't get on to him for for making that video. Um, it's awesome. I hope I hope it inspires somebody else to do to do good things. There's a deal, you know, like, yeah, you're handing the homeless person something, but you got your camera on it. You know, are you doing it for you or are you doing it for them? You're doing it. And just because you made a video of it, hopefully that inspires somebody else. It's not necessarily that it's all about you because you made the video. Um, good job, Carson. You know, ho hopefully somebody, one of your peers sees that and, and feels compelled to do something good. Look around at the youth close to you. There's a lot more kids I think that I had on my mind that I was gonna mention. But, uh, you know, Ethan Dotson, okay, how can I, I almost left him out. Man, you know, somebody that's had a lot, he could be a very spoiled kid, especially in racing. Now, the one thing I'll say is that Wayne, Wayne has worked his kids, him, him, his kids had to work. I remember seeing Miranda down under a bridge uh, loading, <laughs> that's not where that's going. She wasn't homeless under a bridge. She she was driving a tow truck, dirty, um, you know, loading a truck. Ethan's had to work. He worked them, them kids. He's tried to give them great opportunities, but he worked them. But Miranda's awesome. That leads me to Teddy Scott. You know, I, I've known Teddy Scott since. Just good people. And so before you get dejected about the youth of America, look around at the 10, 15, 20 closest kids in your network, your, your family and friends, and see, see what you got going on there. Because I think you're gonna get a different outlook than what you have after spending an hour on Facebook or watching an hour's worth of TV. And uh, anyway, there again, wisdom from the wisdomless. Sorry you had to see my ugly face again. Um, it's 9-11. Everybody keep their head held up high. Have a great day. And uh, I'll see you next time.